what's up fisher and fanatics jane and fisher and coming at you again with yet another video on something that i thought was really cool personally we went to our local fish store and it's kind of an impromptu thing i decided to record and give you a tour of one of the the stores that i frequent when i'm trying to pick up some new items be it fish or decoration or just an item that i may need for one of the tanks um be it a filter or a heater or what have you uh I thought this, this tour was really cool. This store is really cool. Um, you may agree, you may disagree, and that's perfectly fine, but I just wanted to show you exactly what it is that I get to look at every day, which is really cool in my opinion, and figured that I would bring that to you so that you could see kind of what it takes if some of you are interested in starting up a store as well, um, what it takes to become one of the best. And, and in my opinion, they are one of the best around here. We go there quite frequently. So, as you can see in just a second. So, walking in, this is going to be a relatively quick tour. They were getting ready to close. So, I figured I would try to get as many of the tanks as I could. So, they're going to go a little quick, and I apologize for that. But, uh, we were there about a half an hour before they closed, and the place is so large, it literally took me almost a half an hour just to walk through and record what I did so you can see they have a ton of tanks set up they do buy from local fish breeders which is great for hobbyists plants fish shrimp it doesn't matter and you'll see an example of some of those coming up shortly but it's just a quick rundown you can see there's glow lights in some of the tanks platies there's harlequin rasboras you can see there's pro gourmies this is an example of trade both of those tanks as you can see it says trade in hold that's what I was talking about in my previous video for quarantining they will put a sticker on the tank as soon as they get a, a tank or a fish in and normally they will hold those for a week before they'll sell them off so they do take them in any shape or size does not matter coal or not they'll take them they'll offer you store credit and you can use that obviously to continue the hobby and get the things that you need when you need them. It also lets you further kind of just what you're doing at the time. And if you're looking for new fish, you can pick up new fish. If you're looking for, you know, a heater or possibly a filtration system of some sort or plants, you can always use that credit towards those things as well. But here's a, a giant pleco, which they get a ton of those in regularly. People don't realize how large plecos can get. Once they reach a certain point, they'll bring them in, they'll trade them in, and then they'll use that and pick up a couple new ones and grow them out as well. This was a tank that's not marked at all. It was all Endler Fry that was in there. Some traded in huge angels there. But just in general, I mean, you can get kind of a feel for all of the different varieties that they do carry. I know the camera works not all the best. It's not the greatest, and I apologize for that, but I guess that I was in a hurry. I was trying to make sure I didn't get anybody on film. Because even with them closing in half an hour, there were still about 20 people in there at that time. There's some gold white clouds there. But they, yeah, it's a half an hour before closing, there's 20 people in there. I mean, there's people in that store constantly. It's a huge store, and you'll see that just from watching the video. I mean, this is only one wall, and I'm not, I think about halfway through here on this wall. They're just absolutely enormous so I mean you can see the they're tagged and if you've noticed any of the prices the prices are pretty reasonable here you can see all the, the different uh, gravels that they have everything that they have in the tanks they do use and uh, sell in the store and you can see in every single tank their sponge filters uh, people swear by them hobbyists have used them forever you know instead of using the hang on back filters which are nice and they do work the sponge filters seem to be a, a cheaper alternative, and they do work just as well. So you can see, I mean, they must have gotten a few shipments in because some of the tanks were just packed front to back with fish. And they get new shipments in daily, and you'll see that coming up. This one was empty, I believe. But, I mean, you can see there's just, there's fish everywhere. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous how large this store is, which is one of the reasons why I love going there. There's always, always something new. I mean, you can go every single day and you won't see the same thing twice. Um, it's just absolutely amazing, you know, the, the sheer volume that they manage. There's some Harlequin Rasboras, speaking of which. But, yeah, I mean, there's just 
so much to cover here, and I was going kind of fast, which I regret. But like I said, they were getting ready to close. There was people in the stores, so I was just trying to give you a general idea of what they do have. And in the future, I should be able to bring you a, a better video on this fish store. They are about 15 minutes away from where I live, so it's a really short trip, and we frequent there. Very, very nice staff. There's always a ton of people working. They're always there, you know, to answer questions for you. Every time I've ever gone in there, it's always been a good experience. The, it is kind of hot in there because there are so many tanks. There's so many just lights and heaters and everything else. It's absolutely crazy how warm it is in that store. But again, it's an amazing store. Definitely enjoy shopping there and having a chance to show everybody exactly what we get to see when we go in and just what it looks like. It's pretty cool. As you can see on that tank, look, Ma, clearance plants. They do that stuff all the time. There's some more trade-ins, but they do they do specials all the time. And if you buy in bulk, they usually have a, a cheaper price for you as well. They definitely promote buying more than one fish, which is also a great thing in the hobby because a lot of people will buy a group of different individual fish because they look pretty and they're not real functional. Just, for example, right there are some Tetras. You know, you should always buy three to five of them just so they have the ability to, to stick together and kind of school or shoal if they need to. It does make them feel safer, and it does reduce the stress on the fish. So it's always a great idea to buy more than just one of a fish. I always try to go for at least three to five and most. As you've seen with the red miners from the previous video, we have seven in one tank, and there's three in another. And the three that are in the one tank are getting moved back over to the tank with seven, so I'll have ten all together. But that's something just to remember. You know, it does make them feel better. It does make them feel safe, and it does reduce the stress. So always keep that in mind when you're purchasing a new fish. Try to get more than just one. This is always going to help provide the best experience for the fish as well as yourself. Just only because it helps relieve the stress, like I said, and it does make them feel better to just, in a sense, be more well-adjusted. As you can see, they did get a shipment in. Uh, there's a couple floaters in there that they were temping, acclimating. But, I mean, there's there's fish literally everywhere, and I, I don't believe I'm even at the end of this wall yet. And you can see just by sheer volume, they have hundreds and hundreds of tanks here. And it's no exaggeration. There's some glow lights. There's some, sh I think there was some shrimp in it. But it's just crazy to see the amount of fish that they go through. And we go in here regularly, if not just once a week, twice a week, sometimes even three times a week to see what they have. Because it's always something different, like I said. So you just kind of get a general idea of walking through more stickers for holds but you get a general idea of walking through and kind of seeing what they do have and what they specialize in and this is all just fresh water they do carry salt water as well which is going to be coming up soon in the video they do have plants they have shrimp they have just about anything you could possibly imagine and we'll get into the retail side of it in a little bit I know this video is kind of long but like I said, the store is gigantic, and I was trying to do my best to cover as much as I could. Just to give you a general idea of what I get to look at when I go in and kind of where I get a majority of the fish that we have from. If you look at my previous video, the tank tour, the 29-gallon that has the angelfish and the bloodfin tetras and the black scar tetras, all of those pretty much came from this store. And that does include um, Harlequin Rasboras. We got a clown, a couple of clown loaches in there, but sadly a couple of them didn't make it, so we were left with one. There's a Pleco as well. I mean, most of this stuff came from there. The, there's a couple of guppies from the guppy tank that I, I got from there as well. The uh, blue ones that you've seen in the, uh, the tank tour video or the breeding for profit video. There's some beautiful discus. And again, you can see local discus right on the tank. They do purchase them all the time. They will give you store credit. They're doing something right, folks. They've been in business forever. The size of their store is probably, oh, I couldn't even tell you. I'd say at least, I'm going to go out on a limb and say about 2,500 square feet, if not larger. It might be larger than that. It's, it's a really good size. But they have, as you can see, and I know I've skipped a couple tanks, which I apologize for, but you can see they have some pictures up on some of the tanks when it's a newer species that they get. So you can kind of identify them if you're new to the hobby. 
and you're unsure as to what exactly you're looking for in the tank, this kind of helps you identify what it is you're looking for so you know exactly what you're getting, which is always helpful as well. I did flip around. Here's some of the big guys that they carry. And these are display tanks. And sorry about that. There was a couple customers I was trying to avoid. But here's just a general idea. You can see some of the retail there, but there's plants here. They have some, uh, there's a banjo catfish that they had just got in. There's miniature whales that they have. The tanks are all, for the most part, relatively clean. When you get to a, a store this size and have that many tanks, and you'll hear this from other fish keepers, it is a chore to keep them looking pristine and clear. So if you walk into a fish store and, and the quality of the water doesn't look the greatest, it doesn't necessarily mean the tank quality is not good. It's just really hard to keep up with this many tanks. It really is. So don't be too judgmental when you're looking at tanks. If there's some algae or there's some green water, or it looks a little strange. That's fine. Just make sure that the fish are okay, that the fish are healthy. That's going to be the number one concern, not what the tank looks like. And here's another tank that's got a lot of discus in it. It's a display tank as well. They have, I think, 15 or 20 display tanks alone set up. Um, anywhere between, I want to say a 75 gallon all the way up to a 250. Here's, again, another just prime example of a display tank that they have. They did sell the Texas out of here, but I mean, just to give you an idea, that that foot was that fish was probably a foot and a half long. You know, they have monster, monster fish in there as well as the smaller start off fish or introductory fish. And now this is going to be wall three. I'm kind of just going back again, avoiding somebody that was walking around the store. Um, but, I mean, this, they just, they do it right. I, I say, I know I've said that a couple times. They just do a really, really good job. And I definitely enjoy being in here. They do, this is, the, now the third wall, like I said, this is still fresh water, and there's some more discus there. But they always try to have everything somewhat set up to be organized. So if you're in one general area, you can find all of a certain type of fish. And they do rotate the stock from point A to point B, meaning from the front of the door when you walk in to the end of the third wall is all fresh water on the, the, the building. But they will rotate from the front to the back and vice versa if they need to, just to make sure that the same fish aren't going in the same tank every single time. In some cases, it's because there's additional algae built up on a certain tank and certain fish like to eat algae. So instead of putting that same group into the same tank over and over and over again where there's no algae for them to eat, they'll move them in and kind of shift around the tank so that there is always a constant source of algae for those fish. You know, and again, you can see I'm, I'm still going kind of quick, but we're getting into cichlids here. Um, the third wall is almost all cichlids. And they have everything from Jack Dempsey's to um, blood parrots. They have Oscars. Um, just, I mean, you can see on some of the tags, they just have a huge variety of everything. And I tried to cover all of the fish tanks first before I got into the retail aspect of it. Again, there was a lot of people walking around, and I was trying to avoid kind of getting anybody else on film that didn't want to be on film. But... You can see there's there's just a huge variety of every type of just general fish you can imagine. And they do do special orders as well. If you're looking for something in particular, uh, they're more than happy to help you out at any given point in time. As I said before, they're very well staffed. There's usually between 5 to 10 employees in there depending on how busy they are. Weekends, you'll see up to, to 12 people working, which is rare for any fish store. And... They just do an amazing job. They really do. But it, as you can see, they have special sales that go on with the pink sticker. And as you've seen earlier from the green stickers, when they have, then when they get a really good deal on on a batch of fish, they'll usually pass that on to everybody else that comes in, which is awesome. And you can see everything. I only did that to show you. Everything is on wooden stands all the way around the store, just for the the outside parameter of the building. The general fish tanks are all on wooden stands. Nothing fancy. You know, they don't have anything set up where it's a fish wall, so to speak, where it's the display units that have, you know, 30 tanks in them. And they just, they put them on wooden shelves and they rock and roll with it like that. And it's very effective. You can see it's a tri-level tiered effect. They can get into each and every tank that they need to. And it doesn't hurt anybody. 
And you did see as well a few seconds ago, there was a dead fish in there that was traded in, and this is exactly why they quarantined them. I mean, it does happen, and it's a, a tragedy when it does, but they do their best to prevent it, and that's why. Because sometimes fish do die when they're being transferred. Uh, this The flower horn that was there was pretty cool. I have to admit, I went back just because he came straight up as soon as I started recording. So I had to go back and get another picture of the little guy. He was apparently posing for his cameo. You know, you can't beat that. Anytime a fish of that size and that type comes up and wants to say hi, you say hi back. It's it's just kind of the way it goes, I guess. You have to be in the moment. But you can see, again, I mean, trade-ins, holds. If you purchase a fish and you don't have any means to have it, you know, put it into a tank right away, or if you're, you know, finishing up cycling a tank, or if you have to run and, you know, make room and change some things around, you can purchase the fish, and they will hold them for you for a few days as well. I mean, they're they're great. Here's some feeder guppies. They do carry, I think they're like 22 cents for 10 of them or something. It's a crazy low price, but um, they do do whatever they can to accommodate you and help you out. I mean, their main focus is the people that come in, they want to keep them in the fish hobby the fish keeping hobby and they also want to make sure you have the best experience possible not just in the store but at home as well they want to give you something that you're going to be able to take home you're going to be able to, to look at admire appreciate and learn from and they do their best to make sure you have that that the best possible experience all the way around they really do which is why we keep going back you know, it's just one of those rare occasions and one of those rare finds where you can walk into a store and they're just like, oh yeah, hi, how are you? Yep, yeah, okay, just let me know if you need anything. And then they're on their phone. You walk in here and there's people, employees all over just walking around helping out other customers. You know, if you have any questions, they'll come over, they'll answer your questions. Even if you're just looking, you're not planning on buying anything yet. They, I mean, they just do an amazing job, but... Here I'm getting into some of the retail aspect of it, and I haven't shot any saltwater tanks yet. You can kind of see it's coming up, and we're going to get there. But this is all just coral and rock that they have displayed. It's all bins for, you know, just um, bulk rock. It's a huge setup. I mean, you can see this thing's probably 20 feet long from end to end. And that's just how they do displays. They they try to get it out there for you so you can hit, see everything and know what you're getting. Uh, there was another display tank. This is also another display tank. They do sell some of the fish in here. Um, not all of them, though. The ones that they do sell are marked, but for the most part, they keep them for displays. And you can see, again, another display tank. And there's just, I mean, the size. I really wish I could give you a really good idea of the size of some of those fish. They were over a foot long. It was huge. But they have koi ponds inside. There's some driftwood that they have all stacked out. Um, that's only half of the koi ponds. And as you can see, again, it's real quick. I'm just trying to give you a general idea. This is just all of the pond supplies they have. I mean, it's literally all designed for ponds. You can see that there's probably 10 feet here. Just going over everything you could possibly need, and then some. They have, you know, specialty foods, all sorts of varieties. They carry a little bit of everything just to make sure that they're covered and that you're covered. And if there's one specific thing you do like, they have it. If you don't like it, you know, you have other options. That way you don't feel like you're just trapped into one particular corner and you have to buy this product. They give you enough room to make your own decisions as to what you want. And here's the other half of the koi ponds. These are indoors, and they're probably 6 feet by 4 feet each. Um, that alone is 12 by 8 that's taken up just in koi's in the store. And you see just the sheer amount of volume and product they have. And they go through this. It's absolutely astounding to see how much they carry and how much they sell. I mean, it's always busy there. Always. But now you're getting into the general just basic filtration. Again, a huge wall of filters. And it does wrap around. These are all for sponges and canisters. And you can see they carry Fluval. They carry, you know, Rainland and Eheim. They have just tons and tons and tons and tons of things you can purchase from them. 
And they always want to help you make the right decision for whatever it is. It, they, whatever your preference is, is what they're going to do. They're not going to try to force you into anything you don't want, which is another great thing. If this is what you want when you go in there, they're going to help you to the best of their ability get you what you want. Exactly. And there's the filters. There's hang on backs now you're getting into, which is another wall. You know, they break everything up. It's all easy to find. You flip over the other side. You can see that there's more filtration stuff. Little end caps up for display. I mean, there's product everywhere in the store. It It's just, I mean, littered and littered and littered with product and fish. And you walk in, it's a true through and through fish store, folks. It's everywhere you look, you know you're in a fish store. There's no mistake in it. But you can see just in the front here, and it wraps around. I didn't get to go over there because there were some customers. But they carry their heaters and their air pumps and things that are smaller and more commonly asked for right up front. So as soon as you walk in, you're like, hey, do you have a heater for this or of this size? Do you have a you know a air pump this size? They're like, here, it's right up front. You're looking at the betas. Again, I was trying to do the freshwater first, but this is their beta wall. And here's the huge cooler of uh, frozen food that they carry, which is a huge selection as well. Top to bottom, two double doors. It's great. They always make sure that they have what you need. Literally, you've seen all of the bowls that they had before. Plus, they have more. They do carry beta water, which is sterilized, clean water. I'm kind of walking back around here again to show you this. There's still more space. Again, avoiding some customers. As you can see, there's feet walking behind me. This is one of my favorite sections of the store to go and look at every day. This is why we go in so often. These tanks are between 10 gallons up to 125 gallons, and they get these in regularly, folks. These are used tanks that people have traded in. Now, normally I would say you don't really know what you're getting when you buy a used tank because you don't know how long it's been in use for when you buy it like this, but you can always reseal them. There's tons of videos on resealing them, and to be honest with you, they're usually less than a dollar a gallon. They had three 10 gallon tanks for five bucks each. They had a 29 gallon for $15. You know, I mean, it's absolutely insane the stuff that you can find in there. It's it's just great. But here we're getting into salt water now. You know, there are tangs, there's clownfish, there's puffers. I mean, just. I'm not as big in the salt water as I am in the fresh water, but you can see there's just, I mean, everything. They carry so many different varieties and so many species. It's just really, really, really nice to see. And again, the water is crystal clear in these tanks. Most of them have sand bottoms. They really do a good job just keeping them clean, keeping them organized. And salt water is always harder, in my opinion at least, to make sure it's crystal clear and pristine. And all these tanks you see are just perfect. And there's just another side to it. They have them on the other side as well. But, I mean, the tanks are they're crystal clear. They take care of the tanks. They take care of the fish. You know, they do their best to provide a, a great display and to make sure that the fish are always healthy. And you can see that this one's marked venomous. So they tell you up front, you know, maybe this isn't a fish you want to buy. Maybe it is. Just so you know, this is, it's a venomous fish. Again, another display tank. And I was trying to avoid getting customers again because there are so many of them in there still even now. But this is their section of coral and rock. They have an even, I mean, it's double this size. I couldn't get it all because there was uh, a couple behind me that were shopping for coral actually at the time. But I just kind of, I tried to get over as far as I could. I mean, there was three sections to the coral. What you've seen there, plus there's a whole nother wall. And this is, again, going back to freshwater, but this is right as you first walk in the door. You can see all these awesome display tanks set up. And then with each display tank, there are different sizes and shapes. And again, I mean, the plants are there as well. And that's really cool. But right as you first walk in, right around this corner, there's this huge koi pond that they keep out literally all year round. Uh, with the store being as warm as it is, they keep it out here just for the simple fact that the door will keep, keep it cooler. And it's just an amazing display. It's beautiful to look at. And this is what you're greeted with as soon as you walk in. So it's really cool to see. So as you can see, that was just a quick tour. Again, they were closing in like 30 minutes. I didn't have a whole lot of time. And it took me probably 25 to 30 minutes just to walk in, you know, walk around and record everything that I recorded. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And as always... Happy fish keeping.